Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me. Today I wanted to share with you guys my favorite magical creatures um, from the books of Harry Potter. Now, a lot of people love them and I extremely love them and kind of obsessed over them so much that I was making them. I made a couple of different ones. I made full body ones that are made by hand. I've also made um, a few other ones that are ornaments. So, and I will actually show them to you guys today. Um, also too, I'm going to do a little mini DIY at the end of this video to show you guys how to make your own little pygmy puffs. But I am going to talk about where you can purchase these little bad boys. And I just love and enjoy them so much. I think they are perfect on a bed, on a shelf. Um, also too, if you have a little reading nook, they just add a little bit of character, a little accent. I extremely enjoy my baby pygmy puffs, guys. I love them. So let me go ahead and show you my first pygmy puff that I got was on my first visit to Universal's Orlando um, Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Diagon Alley. Now I remember walking through those brick doors and looking to the side and saying I have to go into the Weasley's joke shop. I have to go. So there went in and of course right there they have a whole shelf of these babies and then they also have them staged throughout their store. And what is really awesome about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter when you buy a Pygmy Puff, they will do a naming ceremony and they also tell you how to care for your baby Pygmy Puff. So with that being said, I want to show you the first Pygmy Puff that I picked from the Weasley's Joke Shop. And that is going to be this beautiful little guy right here. They have little feet. I paid $14.95. This is one of the original little name tags on him. And he is just so sweet and so cute and so soft. Oh, I just love him. And I kind of got a little obsessed with them. And so when me and my sons went on Mother's Day, of course I had to have a pink one. So for Mother's Day, my son bought me this beautiful pink one from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I paid $14.95, or I didn't, he did, but we paid $14.95 for it. And it actually has its original tags on it. I just refuse to take the tags off because I think they lose value when you pull their tags. So. Um, but yes, I just had to have them both colors. Yes, they are just so cute. Like I said, they look so magical on a shelf or in a book nook or on your bed, wherever you choose to put them. They just bring me such joy. They're just so cute. So, and then we went again, and we probably have gone so many times because I went ahead and got the seasonal passes. Because with seasonal passes, you basically get a discount when you get their annual passes. I'm sorry, it's annual passes, not seasonal passes. But if you get their annual passes, whatever it may be, you get some kind of discount with them in whatever package that you decide to choose. So it is totally worth getting the um, Universal's um, passes to go, um, especially if you live nearby. So it's totally pays for itself in the end. So yes, there is a perk to it, guys. You do get a discount. But yes, so when we went again, they also had ones that um, actually sing and talk and I cannot find them anywhere. And then we got lucky and we went, we went again. This girl finally found her a little talking one that actually makes the pygmy puff noises. There's the little tag to it. They are a little bit more. Um, they are $18.95, but not really by much. But they are just so cute. Listen. They are just so precious and special. And of course, I had to get a purple one because that's my favorite color. So, yes, $18.95, guys. So, yes, I have all my little pygmy puffs throughout the years that I have gone to Universal's. Are they not so stinking cute and just special? And I love them. Yes, and they also have like this huge one that you could buy and 
it's I think it's like 35 for it they have it in pink they have it in purple they have all sorts of products for the pygmy puffs there I also ended up picking up keychain and unfortunately my little wolfbane guy and that was his name because he did get the naming ceremony he is the baby one he's a little dirty because he is on my everyday keychain you guys but they do have tiny ones for your keychain that look like this i'm sorry for him being dirty and they also have their little official tags that say wizarding world of harry potter on them i don't know if you could see that or not but yes they are just so extremely cute to carry on your keychain it makes it kind of like a little bit of magic that you're carrying with you every day and i had seen because i just love cherry wallace if you have not subscribed to cherry wallace you are totally missing out if you are a big harry potter fan because she just is so amazing, her and Victoria McQueen. I absolutely, insanely love them. But anyway, she did her little Christmas gifts and of course for 2019 and this beautiful Noble Collection, Pygmy Puff was on that Christmas list and I had to have this beautiful violet purple one. They also offer it in a pink it is just so cute and he is only $14.95 he has the cutest little faces guys like yes so cute little feet and they're kind of little legs to them they're so absolutely adorable has these beautiful beautiful purple eyes because I am a big purple fan and this could be good for any Harry Potter fan or any girl that loves her a purple little pink puff. So yes, love it. $14.95 Noble Collection. And like I said, they also have a pink one too, which I'm going to get eventually. So anyways, guys, I also love to make pygmy puffs. I have a couple here that I made for my tree. Um, and I used polymer clay. I used a styrofoam ball and bow. And this was the result. Let me blow back. <laughs> Let me go ahead and blow that back for you so you guys can see the face. I baked, I painted him, I gave him little feet as well, and a little little string to tie him on the tree and I actually put this on my Harry Potter tree and then when they're not on my Harry Potter tree throughout the year I also place them on my shelves as well so I have like loads of these beautiful pygmy puffs all over my little crafty Harry Potter room. I also have a pink one that I made the same way you guys how cute and sweet is he I am just obsessed with these little creatures. I don't know what it is about them. Um, yes, so, sorry, <laughs> a little crazy about them. So I thought at the end of this, I would just give you guys a really quick little um, way that you can make your own little pygmy puff keychain, or you could actually change out the little, um, the little hardware that's on it and you could make it into something whatever you'd like to make it into so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make okay guys so let's start with this diy to make these pygmy puffs i'm going to show you a few things that you're going to need or if there's anything else that you like to use that's fine too this is what i use i go ahead and i actually use I pick between which one I want as in these little polymer clays they're pretty inexpensive for a pack um, I got some for $2.69 $2.49 there's a Sculpey Bake Shop it's oven baked clay um, there's also this Primo that's pretty good I have found it to work very well um, so it'll just depend on your preference I um, normally just take off a pretty um, little bit. I don't really get a lot in my hand, and that's what I'm going to sculpt with, and that as well. You're also going to need to pick up a puff. These are pretty simple and expensive puffs. They really don't cost very much. Um, you can find them just about anywhere at your local Walmart or crafting store. You're also going to need a cup of water for your painting. Yes, I know you guys, I'm that weird girl that saved her Wizarding World Harry Potter cups 
Um, I just do not believe in wasting. I also do the same with my Starbucks cup. I reuse them and then I put them in the recycling bin here at home. Also, too, you're going to need to pick out what paints you are going to want. I just use basic um, paints that I've got at my local craft store or at Walmart. There's the Apple Barrel one, but you're definitely going to need um, the white and the black. They are really huge staples in this, and then the other colors are, of course, optional. I also have the clear gel tacky glue. That's going to glue our little pygmy puff head to the puff. I also too in that little crafter's corner at um, Dollar Tree, and I will show you the actual pack that it came out of, are these cute little crafting trays. They're art palette trays, and they are only a dollar at your local Dollar Tree, and they help when it comes to painting. So of course, I'm going to need one of them. You're also going to need your crafting tools and depending on what crafting tools that you like to use and what you like to style with. Now I like to use the little balls and also too you are going to need a paintbrush and I'm going to go ahead and stick my paintbrush in the water. But yes. So those are the basic things that you're going to need. You're also going to need I like to use wax paper to work off of. I find it to be easy and also I bake on it so it's just convenient. I also have quite a few paper towels here underneath to help me as well and those are the things that you are going to need to basically do this little DIY and I'm going to zoom you guys a little closer so that we can get started. Now you're going to need to take your polymer clay and you're going to need to knead it for a while. This may take a bit, guys. I am not a professional at this. I only started doing this a couple years ago and it's been about a year since I have made a pygmy puff. So let's just hope, guys, that this turns out nice. <laughs> if not, I do apologize. Um, but yes. So you just basically want it to be very soft. You want to roll it around in your hand like so. And we're going to move that out the way as well. And you're just going to want to start off with a little face. I kind of like to make my little face start it off kind of like with this little shape. Like that. And I'm going to sit that right there. I'm also going to pull some off to make ears. So I'm just gonna take like a little pinch off to make ears as well. And just a little bit more of that. Okay. So thought we would use my old crafty table so it is not very pretty and I do apologize for that. Okay. So once you get that one really soft, what I do is I break it off like this okay and see how I made I make a little flat thing like that and try to smooth that little crackage out and I just try to curve it inward to make a cute little ear just like so by no means am I perfect but I think it's pretty cute. And same with this. You just kind of want to kind of make it a little pointy in and a little curl in like that. And there you have it. It is so cute. It's the little ear. And sometimes I like to make them a little like and like not in the same size because it looks really cute. So here we go. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to sculpt the face. Get that really soft. And what I like to do is I like to kind of bring it to like a little V like this at the bottom. And then I sit it down like this. And I like to go ahead and start molding with the face like so. That really cute little eye look. I like to use these a little bit, like 
that. Yes, that's my nail book. Yes. Can you guys see that? Where I've just kind of made the little face inwards and made little like pockets for the eyes with my little little tool here. And then I go ahead and I take one of these and just like so and make a little move that out of the way. I will make a little V and another V. And then I will make the little and then I will take I like to use this kind of little end and I will try to make a little mouth. Just like so, and that's how that looks so far. And then I go ahead and I will take this part of this little um, crafty knife that it gives you with your moldy stuff, and then I will start making hair. By no means am I perfect, but I really love the texturing to it because it just makes it look even more dimensional and just yeah I love it love love doing this this the hair is probably my favorite part because I feel like I am just giving it its little cute look oops <laughs> It is really hard to do this on camera, guys, so I'm sorry if this is not looking, if you can't see, or if I'm just not showing you properly, but you see the texturing that I just did, and that, I will do that all over on this side as well. just gives it a little bit of a personality and then it's really fun when you're painting it um, so yes and I will probably leave it right about and I will go underneath make it look like it's a furry little face By no means am I a professional, guys, so if you have another way you want to do it, do it because there I don't feel like there is any wrong way or right way to do it. It is how you want to make your own little creation, and this is just how I love to make mine. And that is what it looks like after texturing and then you add the little ears on like so and I just kind of like smush them in there and sometimes I will play with them see how it's on there now you can make them big you can make them little you can make them look a little Shrek <laughs> somebody told me they looked a little Shrek but once you put them on the poof it just makes more sense um, so, and that's how you do that little face right there. Okay, so after texturing, and when you're happy with your texturing, like there's a few more areas I want to get to by the nose, and then also two underneath for me. And when you're happy with your little texturing, you can go ahead and, like I said, I use these. Um, they come from like any kind of crafting store where you're making dolls or anything like that and you basically just go ahead and you would press it on into your clay like that and then I try to like mold around it a little bit so it'll like it'll it's it looks like that okay and then you're gonna put your other one in and you're going to bake it. And I actually have one already pre-done that's baked. 
and this is what it looks like after you are done baking with both eyes in and are done with your sculpting and yes his little ears are off but I think it gives him personality and now what you would do is you're going to paint so I am going to go ahead and I'm going to need black and this I have a couple that I've made um, pre-made to show you guys also as well in different colors Here's another one in that light purple that I pre-made. And that's what they look like. And then that's what they look on the back. Not very perfect, but I enjoy making them. And then this is the one, and I love this color. It's just so adorable that I've baked and pre-made for you guys to see in the different colors. And then I'll show you guys how I paint them as well. So they go from this, and I didn't have another eye for him. That's why I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with two eyes. I don't know how, but I've lost this. I don't know if the cat dropped it down or what. Sorry about that, but that's why I wanted to go ahead and show you the ones that I have pre-made and show you guys how I paint them as well. So let me go ahead and I'm going to shake. Make sure you shake your um, paint well. And I'm going to put my paint in the little tray remember the little trays I showed you that I got from the Dollar Tree I'm just gonna put you don't need a whole lot for these I'm gonna put a little of that I'm also going to put my white in because I love to do a lot of texture looks with the white and like I said you can do anything um, that you feel that you want. Wow, my white is not wanting to come out. There it goes. You can do anything that you want when it comes to painting. You can texture them. You can do what, like I said, be artistic with them. You do not have to stick with what I'm doing. You don't have to stick with what anybody else is doing. Do what you feel is right for you because in the end, this is your creation. It's not somebody else's. But I just kind of create as I go along. Like I said, mine are never the same. They they all are different once I get done with them. Like, it's like they all have their own different little personalities. And I kind of like it like that. So I have my little tray, which makes it nice and clean. As you can see, very nice, nice and clean. You know, it helps to have that. I also like to put a little red because just in case I want to use pink. We, I can make my own pink with the um, with just a little bit of the white and a little bit of the teal and make kind of a pink. I love mixing colors. It just brings me back to being in arts class. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and you're going to need your paper towel as well. I'm sorry if this isn't really good filming. I'm still new at filming. So please bear will with me, please, please bear with me. Um, but I hope this helps you guys to kind of get a feel of how you can make your own little pygmy pup. And let's go ahead. And the first thing I love to do with my pygmy is I love to go ahead and I love to um, make his little nose area, which actually I'm gonna wait to do the black because I want a pink, so I need to mix. So I'm going to take some of this white and right here I'm just going to mix some red and white together and make this cute little peachy color. And if you guys can see that, it's just a nice little light pink and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in his little, it's not really pinky, oh, I need some more red, make it a little more pinky for me. Like this. You just kind of fill in the little spot that's there. Right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to rinse that out. Show you what it looks like after I paint it. Not perfect, guys, but like I said, it's your creation. You do not have to be perfect. I'm going to hit and get a little black on here because I want to go ahead and I want to do the little lining, which is right here. 
right here and my little line going down there and there and then I did a little smudging remember there's nothing you can't fix so I will try to fix that I never knew I'd be so nervous <laughs> doing this on here but yeah that's the little face not perfect but my little creation and that's what it looks like when you get that part done and this is where I kind of have a little fun so I think I'm gonna do a little teal so I'm gonna go with a teal right now and I'm actually going to go ahead and I am going to give a little bit of fun around the eyes And you do not have to do this. You can leave your little pygmy bear. I just like to have a little fun. Just a little, see that? And then I'm gonna go around this way. You can do whatever you want with yours. You can give yours patches. You can give whatever kind of fun you like to. I kind of like to just play around with it and just give it different textures and looks and I think it's fun to explore when you are crafting. And that's his new face. Oh, he's so cute already. And then I'm going to use, after I clean my paintbrush really good and dry it, you definitely want to be dipping, cleaning, and drying because you don't want to mix everything. But then I want to go ahead and put a little white texturing in. So I'm just going to just a little bit. I actually got some on his little eye, which I can get off like this. There we go. Perfect. I hope you guys are enjoying this video because I have never done this before so but that's what my little pygmy looks like with the texturing and I noticed at the bottom his little mouth needs to be a little wider on one side so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fix that I have not done this in like a few years guys so oh there we go widen it just a bit there we go and then kind of come underneath it because I already made an indention for the mouth underneath so that's what it looks like now we're gonna put a little bit that pinky peach into the ears to give it some texture and I may add a little white so let's see how that turns out and looks guys big and spectacular just a little simpleness okay and that's what the little ears inside looks like and his little face and I am extremely happy with how he turned out I'm gonna go ahead and let him dry. And when he dries, I am going to um, add him to my little puff. Okay, so now that my little face has dried, I am going to go ahead and I am going to use this clear gel tacky glue and I am actually going to apply it to the back of it and I am going to put it on my puff. So let me go ahead and open that. But I want to go, I want to do a lot of more DIYs with you guys. So I'm hoping that the more I do these online, the better I will get at filming at it. So bear with me, okay? Now I noticed these have a little tag in the back. You can clip these off. I am going to go ahead and I'm actually going to put mine 
in the center but not too far down you want to put it like right there because if you go too far down your puff will be going like this because polymer clay is a little heavy when it dries I haven't found it to be light me that's just me I don't know but yes looks like I got a little paint on her but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull back the hair of the puff like this I'm going to go ahead and I am going to add to the back of my little face like so and I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on just like this I'm not going to make sure I put it behind the ears I'm going to put a good bit of it and I am going to place it right in that center of that And I like to hold it for a bit. It does take a little while to dry. So maybe if you sit it like this way. But this is your finished looking puff, guys. Is he not adorable? There are so many things that you can actually do with your puff and put it on. And you can give these as gifts. You can display these on your shelf. I really enjoyed making these. I've made a lot of them for friends. I've done them in all sorts of different ways. This is just an easy body way. Um, so there's all sorts of ways you can make your own little puffs and give as gifts to your friends and family or just keep for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this little DIY and I am hoping to make more for you guys. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more DIYs from me. Subscribe, like, and share, guys. Thank you so much. You have a great day.